NCIS returns to our screens for its 20th season this fall, and along the way, the show has introduced us to some pretty memorable characters. One of those was Cote de Pablo's special agent, Ziva David, who was a main character from season 3 to 11, but left abruptly before season 12 began. Today, we're discussing what caused de Pablo to leave the show, in her own words, so stay right where you are. Let's jump right in then. What did de Pablo have to say? De Pablo played the Israeli agent Ziva David for almost a decade in the early part of the show's run, and was praised as being the only full-time Israeli character on American TV during her time. But she left abruptly back in 2013, with fans stumped as to why she had suddenly quit. De Pablo, who is of Chilean heritage, took a few years to open up about what had gone down. But back in 2016, she suggested that she didn't like the direction the show's bosses were heading in for her character, saying, unfortunately, because of political things and scripts not being good enough, I chose not to return to NCIS. Cote did concede that she loved the character and, of course, has returned to the role as guest star in both seasons 16 and 17. But it is the love she had for character which ultimately meant she couldn't carry on. She said, I worked for eight years crafting Ziva, and when I felt like the character wasn't being treated with the respect she deserved, I left. She then gave us a bit of an insight into the planned storyline, saying that the creators wanted to send the character back to Israel and make her an unfortunate, miserable woman. Of course, she had no interest in playing this type of character, especially as David had been so strong during her run, saying it wasn't fair and she wouldn't return until they had a great storyline for Ziva. Fair enough. What else do we know about her exit? Stay tuned to find out. Well, we know that fans weren't particularly excited to learn that one of their most beloved characters was leaving, and her co-star, David McCallum, wasn't particularly enthusiastic about the idea either. McCallum plays Ducky Millard on the hit show, and when he first learned about De Pablo leaving the show, he decided to blame her, not the bosses. He said, It was frustration and anger that someone should just walk out on us. I just don't understand how a leading lady in a show that's worldwide, who ostensibly wants to have a career as an actress, suddenly walks away from such a gem and just vanishes a couple of days before we start production. Pretty intense words. However, CBS refused to change the storyline, so ultimately De Pablo was forced to leave. The network said it was her decision to quit, but sporadic appearances over the past few years have suggested she could one day return to the fold full-time. Speaking after her return during seasons 16 and 17, De Pablo revised her initial comments, but didn't back down, saying, I think that was taken taken out of context at a certain point, and people start writing that to justify the idea of leaving. But I didn't leave because I wanted to go, or because I was ready, or because I was tired. I didn't really have an option. What do you guys make of De Pablo's comments? Let us know below. Next up, could De Nozzo be set for a return in the upcoming season? NCIS will return later this month for its 20th season, and after Michael Weatherly's bull has recently finished, some fans have suggested he could be set to make a glorious return to the the popular police procedural. Weatherly left at the end of season 13 as he wanted to star in his own show, Bull. But now that particular show has been cancelled, many believe he could be set to reprise the role of Special Agent Anthony Dinozzo. I mean, the actor himself has been instrumental in drumming up those rumors, as he has repeatedly shared throwback photos of his time on the show over the past year or so, as well as adding some pretty cryptic captions. Executive producer Stephen D. Binder was asked back in May if he would be open to Weatherly returning to the role of Dinozzo, replying, I absolutely would love to do something like that. That's going to depend on Michael Weatherly. Binder went on to explain that it was weird and not right that he wasn't on the show any longer, whilst also going on to say that it wouldn't be a particularly difficult conversation to have with Michael as he still considers him a close friend. He also said that Weatherly plans on taking some time off due to a busy schedule of late and working through COVID, which is fair enough. Would you like to see Dinozzo return? Let us know below. We're talking Mark Harmon and the family business now. Stay with us. Harmon left the part of Leroy Jethro Gibbs after almost 20 years last year, bringing down the curtain on the longest role of his career. He was replaced by Gary Cole, but due to the fact that his character wasn't killed off and that Harmon still served as executive producer on the show, there have been continual rumors that he could make a return to the fold. Whether or not he does return is yet to be seen, but one actor who could easily return in future episodes 
is the young version of Gibbs, who you might be surprised to learn is played by Harmon's real-life son, Sean. Harmon's real-life wife also appeared on the show in a cameo role as journalist Marcy Wallace, but Sean has actually appeared in no fewer than seven episodes, all in all. He first appeared back in 2008 in a flashback, and his most recent appearance came just a couple of years ago in 2020 in the episode Everything Starts Somewhere. The storyline looked into how Gibbs and Ducky become involved in their first case together, with Sean putting on a pretty great performance as the old man. Elsewhere, Harmon Jr. has worked as a stunt coordinator, and his dad recently said, I'm proud of him taking his work seriously and how he approaches being an actor, not just on this show. Pretty cool. Did you guys know Harmon's real-life son was on the show? And what about reports that Harmon himself could be set to return to the show? As we mentioned, basically since the day Mark Harmon left the show, there have been rumors that he will be returning for the upcoming season. Gibbs retired from active duty in episode 4 of season 13, but Harmon himself has confirmed that Gibbs is actually alive and well, and living his best life up in Alaska. Speaking shortly after he left the show, Harmon said, I'm not retired. The character is living in Alaska, as far as I know. Plot-wise, this character has taken the path that it did. I thought it was honest, and I was okay with it. Of course, this prompted many to suggest he could easily return for a cheeky cameo or two, and executive producer Stephen D. Binder also sent fans into overdrive suggesting we haven't seen the last of the iconic agent when he said, As an executive producer and dear friend, Mark continues to be an integral part of the fabric of the show. Our North Star has always been staying true to our characters, and that truth has always guided the stories we tell and where those characters go. Whilst this didn't give much away, Binder went on to say, So regarding the future of Gibbs, as longtime fans of the show may have noticed over the years, never count Leroy Jethro Gibbs out, and Harmon himself has been quoted as saying, the door is still open. Brilliant. And finally, it might have all been so different for Harmon. Somewhat surprisingly, Mark Harmon has become a bona fide Hollywood legend to thank for bagging the role of Leroy Jethro Gibbs. It was recently revealed that the show's creators had actually earmarked a certain Harrison Ford to play the iconic NCIS leader, and it is thought he came pretty close to signing on as Gibbs, which would have been disastrous for the career of Harmon. Fortunately for Harmon, however, Ford was busy working on other projects such as K-19, The Widowmaker, and Hollywood Homicide around the same time, neither of which tore up any trees, so we wonder if Ford looks back on an opportunity lost. Probably not given the stellar career he has had, but it was thought to be a pretty close call as Ford was going through a bit of a mini slump, career-wise, at that particular time in his life. And Ford is actually name-dropped in the pilot episode as Gibbs is walking through a plane in a storyline pretty close to that of Ford's 1997 movie, Air Force One. In a nod to the actor, Gibbs says, This is in the movie. Harrison is sitting right here. Did you know about this bit of trivia? As usual, thanks for dropping in on us today. And remember to tune in again next time for some more interesting tidbits. And why not do us a solid by liking today's video, whilst also sharing it with any NCIS fans you know of. Bye, guys.